Yeah, you know what? I was looking at reports just over the last 24 hours, Greg, and we had over 30 official reports from the National Weather Service of hail in North Texas, but a bulk of that was in Flower Mound. And we're actually at the Rocky Point uh, community here in Flower Mound, and you can see some of the cars are covered. Now, this could be uh, as a preventative measure, uh, but also uh, there were some damage reports out here. Uh, we are also uh, looking at just damage across the area and it came from different sized hail. So I want to take a moment to explain why that is. I'm going to have Andrew here hand me my first demo. Okay, literally I took this out of my dog's uh, kennel this morning. She had this, so if she's waking up, she probably doesn't see it. She misses it. Anyways, we have water, a lot of water vapor, right? And strong updrafts. That's what causes these thunderstorms to pop up. Well, that water gets pushed into the updraft and eventually it raises a freezing point whenever it gets really uh, frozen. It's going to fall because it's heavy, but sometimes the updraft is way too strong. So it's going to keep pushing this hailstone up into that freezing layer around it. You're going to see ice that just keeps accumulating. It gets heavy, it falls, but if it's strong updraft, it gets pushed back up and you finally get these massive hailstones. This size hailstone when it's falling can reach a speed of 80 to 85 miles per hour from the bottom of the cloud to the ground. So yeah, something like that is going to cause damage.